Hello my purple banditos and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents, I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we finished up Tane's quest, today we're here in Coral Town as we are going to start up our next side quest in the post game. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, it's very bright and early for me, and I'm having a great morning myself. We're going to make our way on over to Route 5. Last time we were here in Route 5, we weren't able to climb up these waterfalls, we weren't able to do a whole lot, but now that we have rock climb and waterfall, we're going to be able to explore a couple more areas that weren't available to us earlier. Let's make our way inside of this cave then and see what we can find. There we have it, ladies and gents. You can see that there's going to be another portal for us. So let's go ahead, play the quartz flute. Let's get Mew to turn into Hoopa. And let's hyperspace hold. Not, not the cultist, not the cultist. I'm not trying to become a cultist right now. I'm trying to go through the hyperspace hole. So here we go, guys. Let's go right on through and see where this is going to take us. We've made it to Erebus City. There's a lot of fighting going on here, as you guys can see. The cultists are attacking the townspeople? Rodri, oh, it's great to see you. We're not in such a great state right now. Here, come on into the gym. There's a back entrance. We need to talk. I'm so glad you came back. You really have a knack for showing up at the right time. Erebus City is a mess right now. That Deoxys virus that followed you down here? Well, remember all of Persephone's cultists that Darkrai sent down? They've all gotten changed. They're all part of that old guy's side now. I'm not exactly sure how it works. We're trying our best to hold them off. I've been fighting dozens at once, but there's too many of them. We need... we need a trump card. Rodri, I'm not sure how much you know about how the Dream Realm works. Obviously, it exists in your mind, all of this. But humanity's Dream Realm is all one land. There aren't separate realms for each person. The parts of the Dream Realm for each person are separated by dangerous badlands. In theory, by traveling through the badlands, you could end up in somebody else's Dream Realm. It's dangerous. Nobody's really ever tried. But somewhere in the center of it all, connecting the realms, is Rem Village. Rem Village, according to the stories, is the place between all the Dream Realms where Dark Ride rests. We need to convince Dark Ride to join us. Pokemon like that could surely turn the tides of battle. Will you help us? Sure, we'll go ahead and help. Thank you so much. I have a Pokemon that can teleport you to Prion Town, but from there, you'll have to make your own way. The Badlands are just to the west of it. Be safe, I believe in you. Alakazam, come on out. Alakazam, show what you can do. Teleport! We have arrived at the Prion site. So it is from here that we are going to have to look around and see what we can find. This is a very, very dark area in this game, as you guys can see. So we're going to try our best to help these guys out. One way or another, we're going to do it. We've made it to the Nightmare Badlands. I'm going to keep going deeper and deeper into the Badlands. You can see that there are some cultists coming up, so let's go ahead and jump into our first battle of today. We're going up against the Darkrai Cultist. He's going to open up with a Zoroark. Well, mother fudger, this is going to be a lot of fun, ladies and gents. Let's see what we can do here. The Zoroark is going to go for the punishment, and it's going to be doing a lot of damage to me. As you guys know, I have Daruk up in front, which is a little questionable right now. So I'm going to switch it up, and we're going to bring Slasher out here. I wasn't too sure what these guys are going to use. I'm not sure we'll find out as we get going. The embargo is coming out, but I am dropping the close combat, and that Zoro arc is out of here. We're moving on through. It's a creepy area, and there's a creepy aura in the air with all these dark rye cultists around. So let me go ahead and mix up our team. We'll put Slasher up in front, since I'm sure we're going to be using our fighting type a whole lot. This is so creepy. It seems like all the color has been sucked out of this place. Let's go ahead and jump into our next battle too. And as they said, all this is happening in our dreams. I have to tell you guys, I've been having some really wild dreams lately. I don't know what it is. Some nights I'll have really extreme dreams. Some nights I won't dream at all. But the nights that I do dream, I've had some insanely crazy dreams. I remember there was this one dream that still stands out to me to this day. I talk about it to my friends, I tell them about it because it felt so realistic. And I was out there at night in the open ocean. So think about it, open ocean at night, there's like lightning, 
there's going on, there's big waves. And for some reason, I'm on the back of like a dragon, like a sea serpent, like a metal sea serpent. And it was really, really crazy. And the sea serpent would take me in and out of the water. And I would be going so deep underwater and then coming right back out. And it was at night with the lightning. It was terrifying. And it felt so real. I remember I woke up and my heart was just beating so fast. It's crazy, the dreams you can have. We're gonna send out Drogon here against the Dust Noir. We're doing pretty good so far. And I'm not too worried. All the Pokemon here are level 90. And we have Pokemon up to level 100, so we should be good. So let's keep on going. See what other crazy nightmares we can bump into. So you can see that there's gonna be more Dark Ride Cultists this way. So I'm gonna make my way up here really quick and just explore around. Because I'm not sure which way we need to go. That is for us to find out. Can't make our way through there. This is an exit path. Good to know that. It means that we are headed in the right direction. And we're just going to keep on going down. And we're going to keep on taking down the cultists. Continuing on with the story. I don't know if you guys have ever said, had crazy dreams like that. But it was a very, very terrifying one. It's those that you feel like you're there. You're in it. And then you just wake up all of a sudden. And you're like, whoa. Can't believe I was dreaming that. I have a lot of those. And I enjoy dreams. I enjoy dreaming a lot. It's a lot of fun. I've never really had the chance to control my dreams or to kind of push them in the direction that I want. Lucid dreaming. But I know that some people do. I've never really done that myself. I just kind of go into the dream and I just go wherever it takes me. Let's go up here as there is a little Pokeball and we're not going to miss it. We're not going to miss it, guys. Got ourselves an X Speed 3. There is a lot here for us to get. There's also like a patch of grass. It's gray grass. So I don't know what kind of Pokemon we'll be finding in gray patches of grass. Whoa. Let's go ahead and find out. Zoroark, level 79. So if you guys are interested in getting a Zoroark, now you know where you can come to get one. Zoroark's a pretty cool Pokemon. I like that it can imitate other Pokemon. I think that's a really, really cool ability. Got ourselves a Dusk Ball. And I'm just going to keep running around here, see what we can find. TM-105 Lunar Cannon. Very cool. Can't go that way. How about down here? There's another Dark Rye Cultist. We found a Hyper Potion. I'm going to make sure I take down all these Dark Rye Cultists too. This can't be that hard, right? We've already took down how many of them? Probably 20, 30, 40. We've took down a lot of Dark Rye Cultists. The Torn region's been a little... Covered in cultists, so we've been cleaning it up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and hit that icicle crash, which is gonna do a lot of damage. Who's gonna be coming out next? Mighty Enna. This is a perfect area to have Slasher. We're gonna be able to just take down everything here. The Mighty Enna is down. This is what I'm telling you guys. Don't even worry about the battles. We're gonna be a-okay, ladies and gents. We're gonna be a-okay. Sable Eye. I like it. I'm starting row, oh, mother fudger. I should have switched out here. Totally forgot I'm not going to be able to do that. I wonder, who's going to be able to handle our friend here? Let's switch out to Drogon, see if Drogon can get a move off. Here comes the foul play, so I'm glad I, I called that. I'm going to drop the sucker punch here. It failed. The, the quash failed. I'm going for another sucker punch. The foul play is not going to do a whole lot. This has to be one of the most intense battles we've gone into. It really isn't. It really isn't. We've gone up against a perfect form of Zygarde. I think we'll be okay here against the cultist. And there we have it. We defeated another cultist. I'm exploring around as I told you guys. We're going to check out everything. We're going to check it all out. We're going to make sure we don't miss anything around here. Have plenty of repels. Lots of goodies for us to go. What's up, dude? We'll take you on next. This was the other side that we couldn't get to. So all you had to do was loop de doop It's a bit of a maze here. But I'm having a, a lot of fun. Mazes are a blast. If you guys have ever had the chance to go through a maze, I went through one of those hedge mazes when I was in El Salvador. And they are a lot more difficult than you would realize. It was supposed to take us probably about an hour to get through but it took us like longer than that it was probably close to two hours you don't realize how lost you can get in it and we had to get to the center of the maze 
And at the center of the maze, you could pull this little bell, which meant that you made it to the center of the maze. And luckily, we made it there. When I got there, my aunts and my cousins were like, hey, let's take a picture. And I was just sitting there, like, holding on to the side of, like, you know, the bar where the bell is. And I'm just sitting there, like, heaving because how difficult it was to make it there. Oh, no, absolutely not. You are not beating me to Ram Village. I don't even have any assistance anymore. That virus turned all the members of my group into weird Deoxys things. You've already trapped me down here in this miserable hole. And then I learned that Dark Rai lives here. My hope of light and a chance of escaping. I've been here for days trying to climb my way up. You are not going to beat me there. You've taken everything from me, but you're not going to take this. Dark Rai is mine, and I am going to figure a way out of here. You're going down. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus an old, old rival. We're going to be taking on cult leader Persephone. She's got her six Pokemon ready to go. And this battle is on its way, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Mega Spirit Tube coming out. It is level 93. And I need to get myself ready and prepared. Because we're going to have a tough battle here on our hands. I'm going for the Icicle Crash and the Mega Spirit Tube is down it is out of here next is gonna be a metagross so yeah we're gonna mix things up ladies and gents it is time let's get trunks out here metagross is level 92 we're not too bad here i'm gonna drop the aqua tail onto it which should do good amount of damage that's about half of its damage and you already know i'm gonna follow it up if we survive here we did survive i'm gonna go for it Regardless of anything, we are going to hit that move, and the Meta grows is down. So far, so good. Trunks has grown to level 98. Next is going to be an Alkazam. Drogon, I hope you're ready here. Let's find out. Level 91 on level 91. I'm going to go for that Crunch. I'm going for that Mega Delta Drogon. So let's see what our Mega Delta... Drogon can do that, folks. Blast is going to do a ton of damage. And I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. That's how it's going to go. What can I say, ladies and gents? It's to be expected. To be expected. I told you guys before, we have a weakness to fighting types. Which makes it a little bit tougher on us. Here comes the Shadow Ball. I should be able to tank it enough to just Earthquake this guy down. I'm not too worried about the Alakazam. One more should just about do it. The regurgitation is going to get it on its own regardless. The full restore has come out from Persephone, which is good. She can't use it anymore. And that's it. The Alakazam is down. Good work, Sandy. And your bell sprout. How doom. I'm not going to switch at all. We're just going to keep on going with Sandy. Sandy's hot. Sandy's hot. There's no reason to stop the Sandy train. How doom is down. It's super effective. So we're moving on through. Next is going to be a High Dragon. Let's go for Slasher here. We'll see what the Slasher can do against a High Dragon. It's level 92. Oh, there it is. The Fire Blast has hit. I'm not faster than it. It's okay. We'll switch out to Mifa then. It's only level 92. So we should be able to take it down here with this Ice Beam. I'm level 101 right now, guys. So nothing to worry about. The High Dragon is down. Next is going to be a Gangaroonie. And I am not going to stop the train right now. The Sludge Bomb is going to come out. I have some Ice Beams. And we're just going to use all those Ice Beams on the Gengar. One more full restore is coming out. But I don't think Persephone is going to stand any chance at all here against us. The Shadow Ball is going to come out. And we are going to drop one more Ice Beam, ladies and gentlemen. And that is going to take down the Gengar. So we have done it. We gained a bunch of XP. We defeated Cult Leader Persephone. We got 9,300 for winning. She has nothing to say. I don't even know why I get surprised at this point. I don't know what kind of dumb plot armor you have, but it's not something I can beat on my own. But I can wait. Dark Price has been around for longer than you have, and it'll be around for longer than you will. It'll come back here eventually. I'm patient. I can outlast you. That I know. I'll be seeing you again real soon, Rodri. See you later, Persephone. She's talking about Darkrai, as you guys just heard. I am prepared. We need to be ready. You can see that we're going to be able to heart swap here. So let's go ahead and heart swap on over with that statue. It's pretty much having us use everything that we've obtained during our adventure for this battle. And look, there's a little shack over there too. 
Let me go ahead and pick up all these items around here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a battle coming up. We got ourselves a reveal glass. Pretty cool. Any other items over here? Or is that going to be it, my friends? It looks like that is going to be it. So let's go ahead and make our way inside of this shack and see what we can find. How, how the heck do I get in this shack exactly? Let me go down here. There we go, there we go. It's a little bit crazy getting through the lava here. Let's step right inside. And there we have it, guys. We are gonna be taking on Darkrai. So let me go ahead and heal up our Pokemon and let's get ready. It's time for us to take on Darkrai. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus the one, the only. We're gonna be taking on Darkrai. It is level 90. I have Daruk up in front, and I've also taught Daruk Fall Swipe, which is going to be really, really good to catch all these legendary Pokemon that we keep bumping into. So I'm going for the Mega Delta Daruk, and I'm going to drop that Shadow Ball right onto the Darkrai. We have it in the yellow, so it's time to start going for those Fall Swipes. It looks like Darkrai is going to be going for the Haze, which is nothing too crazy, the Nasty Plot as well. And I'm just going to keep on Fall Swiping down for as long as I can. If we can just fall swipe it down enough, we should be good. And as you guys can see, we have fall swiped it down to 1 HP. So it is time for us to try and catch this dark ride. I have a couple snore balls, just two of them, 24 ancient balls, 16 ultra balls. So let's hope that that'll be enough to catch this dark ride. Let's start off with the snore ball. Ladies and gents, we've had success with it before. So we're not going to mess around with those. You got to take the snore ball serious. Let's start chucking the ancient balls then and let's hope for the best here. Almost had it. I can't even believe that. We almost had it there. As you guys can see, the haze is going to cancel out any of the status boost that Darkrai gives itself. So it's pretty counterintuitive that Darkrai has those moves. But it's going to make it pretty easy for us to catch. Or at least I hope it is. It shouldn't be attacking us as much as I expect. Now I have 20 Ancient Balls to throw. So let's hope that one of these Ancient Balls gets the Darkrai. And there we have it, guys. Gotcha. Darkrai was caught. Didn't even have to go through all of my ancient balls, so that worked out perfectly. Darkrai, level 90, has now been caught. We got a bunch of XP, and Darkrai's data has been added to the Pokedex. It's a pitch black Pokemon. It's a dark type. It can lull people to sleep and make them dream. It is active during nights of the new moon. Oh, good to know. Good to know. We're just going to call our Darkrai... Dark. So with that, we're going to send Dark, the Dark Rai, to the PC. We officially caught Dark Rai, and it looks like there is nothing left here for us. We made the long trek back to Erebus City. You can't hold out forever, Adam. <laughs> Would it really be so bad? We can promise you peace. We can promise you tranquility. We can promise you immortality. That's nothing to laugh at. A long life like yours isn't a life worth living. We're not going down easy. Rodri, thank goodness you're here. I've been trying to hold them off, but I can't fight on my own forever. I need your help taking them down. They've been attacking Erebus City for days. We've been holding on as best as we can. Will you fight with me? I can battle Mauled if you can battle your friend. Together, I'm sure we can fend them off. Father and son, just like it always should have been. Well, isn't this cute? Damien, deal with him. Maybe this will redeem you for giving them that crystal piece, the one thing we had down here. Don't make this any harder than it has to be, Rodri. Make this easy for both of us. Lose. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus our old friend and rival, Damien, who does have the Deoxys virus on him, if you guys remember. Now, we're going to start things off a little bit tough here. The Rook is asleep. Because I just caught the Dark Rai with nine Ancient Balls left. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to drop that full restore onto Daruk. Let's just wake Daruk up and let's get it going. Let's get this battle popping and see what our old friend Damien is going to have in store for us. 
The Rook is back in it, ladies and gents. So here we go. The knockoff is coming up from the Deoxys, and that's going to do a bunch of damage. I am honestly surprised it didn't absolutely KO me there. And the Deoxys is going to take me down. That's how it's going to go. That's how it's going to start. It's okay. I'm going to send out Drogon here, as I do feel pretty good about this. And I'm just going to drop that Mega Delta Drogon, and I'm going to go for that crunch onto the Deoxys. Hope that we can do a lot of damage to it. The low kick is coming out. Oh, as I told you guys, those fighting types are very, very pesky for us. They do so much damage. It's hung in there with the Focus Sash. A full restore is going to be coming out. Now, lucky for us, I do have Sucker Punch, which didn't hit that time around. And that is A-OK. -okay. We hit it the second time. The Oxus is down. Bring it on, Damien. Next is going to be a Blastoise. Let me bring out Slasher. I have a feeling it's going to be a Delta Blastoise coming out here. And it is. I was correct about that. There's no PP left here. Mother fudger. I didn't even think about that. We got a Mel Mega Delta Blastoise coming out right now. Oh, boy. We are in for a fun time, my friends. Let's drop the Icicle Crash onto the Blastoise. And that did a little bit. Not as much as I would have hoped, but it did a little bit. Oh, here comes the Aura Sphere. And as you guys can see, I am going down. It's the fighting types that do insane amounts to us. They are very pesky. They really, really are. They mess us up. I got to tell you guys that. They really do mess us up. I'm going to send out Sandy then. And let's see what Sandy can do here. We got to tank out the Vacuum Wave, and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to be dropping that Earthquake, and the Blastoise is almost down. It is so close to going down. It is almost crazy. I'm going to go for the recover. And Damien is going for the full restore as well. So our old friend Damien does remember how we like to battle. I see it here. He's remembering. He's getting all those memories back of everything that we went through before the virus hit him. All right, ladies and gents. The regurgitation is doing a lot and I'm feeling good. If I can keep dropping, dropping these earthquakes. Oh! Wow, that did an insane amount of damage. That was almost ridiculous how much that did. Another full restore is going to be coming out from Damien. At least he's using them now. It's better this guy gets him out of the way now because I'm going to be trying my best to take him down. All right, ladies and gents. All right, all right. I'm feeling pretty good here. I do have full restores. I'm going to go for the dig, and the Aura Sphere is going to come out. Sandy is down. Mother fudging Blastoise, I got to tell you guys. Mother fudging Blastoise. This Pokemon is a bit of a problem. We're going to do what we can here with the Thunderbolt, and it is down. We hit a crit. All right, all right, all right. Next is going to be a Metagross coming out. Coming out nasty. So I'm going to switch out the Trunks here. Trunks has handled a couple Metagrosses in his day. I'm not too worried. We're going to drop that Aqua Tail onto the Metagross. Got it halfway down. We just got to tank out these Earthquakes. Oh, boy. That did a little more than I wanted it to. So we're just going to try to hit it. And good work, Trunks. You got it down to the red. I don't expect there to be any more full restores coming out. At least I hope not. That is going to be for us to find out here. No PB left for the... Oh my goodness, I can't even go for the Sucker Punch. The Metagross is down though, so we're good, we're good. There's going to be one more Pokemon left, and it's going to be a Shaman. All right, let's see what we can do against the Shaman. Here comes the Hidden Power, ladies and gents. And that was a crit as well. All right, Shaman, I see you going for some craziness out here. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. The Hidden Power is going to be coming out. It is not very effective, but the Ice Beam is going to do a ton of damage. And that little Shaman is out of here so just like that the battle's over we defeated our rival damien we got 9400 for winning no impossible i'm undefeatable it's over we've beaten you both rodri's cotton partnered up with dark the ruler of this realm so i'm invulnerable undefeatable so i was too until they sent me here and tried to wipe rodri's memory it was a clever munchkin around immortality i'll give him that but now that we have dark ride we can do the same to you it's over. You're done. You need to leave. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to free my son's friend. I want him normal. Got it? Safe and healthy. Just as he was before. After that, you're to leave forever. Scramble off to the Badlands. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. And I want these cultists here cured too. 
I can take care of them afterwards. That's not the problem. Do it! Now or else! You a fool! Fine, I'll do it! But you'll regret this, I promise! Huh? What? What happened? You'll regret this, Adam. You're not the auger anymore. Remember that. Can somebody fill me in on what's going on? You're Damien, right? The trainer from Tel North Town? I'll take care of him, Rodri. He seems to be a bit out of it. So glad you were able to catch Darkrai. I'm not sure I would have gotten out of that one otherwise. Can't stress this enough, but you're amazing, Rodri. I wish I could have guided you along your journey. I shouldn't have let Jarn and Persephone separate us like that. But somehow, even without me, you've grown into twice the trainer I could have ever been. I'm so proud of you. Listen, I'm going to keep your friend here for the next little while just to make sure he's okay. I'll have him call you when he's feeling a bit better, promise. So keep your phone on. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have helped Damien turn back into himself. Our old friend is back and better than ever, which I am all happy about. You can see that the Erebus City gym leader, Adam, who is also our father, is going to be taking care of Damien, which is more than we could have asked for, if you guys know what I mean. Hey, it's it's Damien. Listen, I'm still I'm still sorting through all my memories from when I was weird, trying to piece together what happened, you know. And just today, while well, I heard there was a nasty storm in Maelstrom Nine, there's some things I remember about that place. Nothing super clear, but I need to see for myself. It would mean the world to me if you'd come with. I might need help with whatever's causing the storms too. So there we have it, guys. As you just heard, our old friend Damien is already to go and it doesn't even seem like our father's over here chilling he, he's out on his own i was hoping our father was at least gonna help us out a little bit give us a positive you know speech a little something to pump us up but we have officially obtained our next side quest as well which is going to be helping out damien over at maelstrom 9 so we've officially finished damien's quest we healed him up, and I'm feeling really good about that. Damien's a good friend of ours. You guys know he's been with us since the beginning of this adventure. So to see our good old friend Damien come back to his senses is definitely a big win for us. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Goodbye.